How do you know when pumpkins are ready? Today I'm going to show you how. So we are going down to pick the pumpkins and we are very very close to our first frost happening here so ready or not we've got to pick them because as soon as the frost hits they turn to mush and they'll be ruined. So we're going to pick them anyway but I'm going to show you how you know when they're ready to pick. There are a few things you need to look out for to make sure that they're properly ripe. The upside is you can eat green pumpkins, um, they're not quite as flavoursome but you can eat them even if they're not quite ripe. And also if they're nearly ripe you can sit them somewhere warm and sunny and they will continue to ripen once they're off the stem. To harvest pumpkins you're going to need a sharp knife and something to carry them in. Here we are out in the survival garden, mostly called that because I planted it and then I have just left it to survive. Uh, we have got in amongst here a whole lot of squash and pumpkin plants. You can see the squash hiding in amongst here and we've got pumpkins and all sorts and the vines are starting to die off. Yesterday the alarm went off on my phone and it was my calendar reminding me that this time two years ago we got our very first frost. So ready or not here we come, we're going to be picking the pumpkins before the frost hits. Right, how do you know that pumpkins are ready to pick? Well here's a nice big one right here and you can see the leaves all around it are starting to die off. The pumpkin itself is the colour it should be when it's nice and ripe and also when you knock on it, it sounds hollow and also the vine itself is like the bit attached like the stalk is really rock hard and also if you try and poke a hole in it it's also hard and ready to go. This particular one is actually a soft shelled pumpkin so I am going to leave it in the sun somewhere to harden up a little bit. These ones here are rock solid, they are going to last really well. So all you do is try and leave at least four to six inches of stem when you cut these off because the longer the stem is the less likely they are of rotting, especially if they still need to ripen a little bit more. I was just sitting on a dead thistle and I can feel the prickles in my bum. These here are called kumi kumi and um, they're a really big squash. You can eat them when they're little, you can eat them like a, a courgette or a zucchini and when they're ripe they look big and yellow like this. So all you need to do is get yourself a nice sharp knife and come in and simply cut the vine leaving yourself plenty of stalk and get rid of anything that looks like it's rotten or gross or leaves, anything that might rot, just get rid of those and then we're going to pop this into the wheelbarrow. We're going to take all of these up to the house and weigh them and see just how much we have managed to grow. We've not actually managed to grow a decent amount of pumpkins before this particular year. All our accidental deaths slash extra roosters slash all those sorts of things we did unfortunately have a couple of stillborn baby goats they all got buried in the pumpkin patch. So these pumpkins have gone absolutely crazy and I'm really excited with how many we've managed to get. So me and the children are going to pick what we have and we'll load them up into the wheelbarrow and show you what we have. Mum, do I um, leave this here? Yep, yeah, cut that bit. How long? Um, like a hand span. Like, it's quite like this, go like this. Ow! Okay. As long as you can, really. You got it, bud? Yep. Oh jeez, that took down to two, what the hell? Oh, because they grow in the middle of the vine. Oh. Do I trim off these bits? Yeah. Oh jeez, look at this pumpkin. Ow! Now this one down here is our uh, magical giant one. It is absolutely huge. I think the variety is Atlantic Giant, I think that's what it's called. It did only make one pumpkin and I think I planted about four plants and this is the only one of those that seems to have grown. Um, however, it is huge. So we're going to see how much that one weighs as well. So massive. Yeah. Ooh, I can barely lift it. So the main reason we planted this was because the homeschoolers want to do some pumpkin carving and a friend of mine desperately wanted a big one. So we grew this because we've got the space to do it. And thankfully it hasn't disappointed, it's given us a really nice big pumpkin to carve. These tiny little immature ones, we'll take those in and they're really nice fried up with some butter and some garlic. These are the kumi kumi. So that's one of the pumpkins of the day. The one I found in there. Oh, we've got, found heaps of them all. Lots of yellow and dirt and bugs on it. I weigh that one. Oh. How much do you think it'll weigh? 20 something. Chloe? I uh, know, 22. I say 22. 30. 30. What do you say? 100. Oh, jeepers. Okay, should we find out? There we go. 
26.8. Then once all the pumpkins are weighed and measured, I'm going to store them in the tunnel house until um, they're nice and dry and firm and ready to store in the actual house. And here's great, even if we get a frost, it's not going to freeze in here for quite some time. So they'll be pretty safe in here. So I'm going to sit them on what is usually my propagation table. And during the summer, it turns into a drying table. So we're going to load this up with pumpkins and squash and probably that set of shelves at the end as well. When you're putting your squash out to dry, make sure that they're not touching. Dust off any dirt that you can see. And just check carefully over for any rotten or soft spots. The rotten or soft spotted ones can go straight to the pigs or the chickens. And once these have cured, we're going to store them somewhere cool and dark and dry for the rest of the winter. You want to store them on either wire racks lined with newspaper or something that's not a flat, hard, damp surface because they will cause a little bit of condensation and that will cause them to rot. Store them on something that the air can ventilate round. I hope you found that video useful. If you have, hit the like button and I will see you in the next one.